Okay, I know this hat is like so dorky, but it's my new favorite hat and I love it so much. It's so cute. I swear I had the exact same one when I was like five years old. I'm not gonna wear it for this video though, but I just had to share it somewhere because I'm so in love with it. Anyways, <laughs> it has nothing to do with the video. So today, I am going to be filming a new, finally updated, fake freckle routine. Let me see you guys now. I feel like we're so far away. So I'm super excited for this video. My fake freckle video is my most viewed video, which makes me happy because I'm glad that I'm getting a bunch of views, but it also makes me sad because it is not my best video and I've changed a lot since then. Like my hair is short and blonde, there it's long and brown and like my whole routine on how I do my freckles is different. I think I do a lot better job now at making them look more natural. And just like a lot has changed. So it's time for an update. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys want to see how I do my fake freckles now, then just go ahead and keep watching. So I do still use one of my favorite everyday products still to this day since over a year ago when I posted my old tutorial is still the NYX brow pens. I love these a lot, but I have gotten a new product that I want to share with you guys as well. And it's this teeny, teeny, tiny little baby and it's called Freck. And I've been wanting to try this product for a really long time, but I'm gonna be honest, I was a little hesitant on buying it because it's this tiny and it costs $20. And I was like, really small and I do fake freckles every day like is that really gonna last me but um, it has I've I'm about almost halfway through and I've been using it and testing it out for about a month now I'd say about a month so like it's lasting this usually only lasts me about a month and a half or two months since I do do them every day um, but not everyone does that because I'm just a weirdo. So it has really lasted me and if you guys are wanting to try the same product and are a bit hesitant, then I do have a coupon code down below. Um, I'll leave it down below and I will put it right here. Not exactly sure what it is off the top of my head, but use that coupon code and buy it through the link and you will get that 10% off. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how I use this product and like the cons and pros of it. So I'm going to zoom you guys in even more so. Can you see me well? Okay. So the reason why I like my NYX pen, I'm going to basically make it like these two are competing. I like the NYX pen because it's easy. I don't have to dip back into anything to use this pen. I can just and be done, like call it a day. And it also comes in two different shades, which I think is nice. Um, this only comes in one shade, but it is a newer brand. So I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with different shades in the future, especially if they're successful. Um, but yeah, that's really one of the only aspects I don't like about this little guy. I love the way it looks. It's just a bit more time consuming as all because I can only do, you know, three or four dots till I have to go back in and dip again, which, you know, is really not that big of a deal. I just do it every day. So the faster the product is, the more I like it. But this one, it does give me more of a natural finish. I will admit that, but it takes longer. So I'm going to do one half of my face with the freck and show you guys kind of how I do it. And then the other half with my pin and you can see which one you like better, but I like them both. So first I'm going to start out with the freck and I'm going to come in close here and I'll show you guys how it looks. So what I do is just do a few and it looks really dark and intense and not so great at first, but I'll show you why. Actually, that was a pretty big glob. I got a nice couple dots out of that. So then I'm just going to let it dry for like seven seconds and then take my finger and use it almost as a stamp to spread the freckles out even more. So now you can see they look really natural. So I'm just going to keep doing that on this side of my face. And I have tested this product in the water and it's not 
water resistant. I won't claim that by any means. But if you go in the water and don't rub your face after, they do stay on, which I can't say about my NYX one. That just comes right off, which is kind of annoying. So there is this half of my face, hold on, it looks a little funny right now because I only have it on one side, but this is Freck, this is what it looks like, I think they look really natural and really cute, like I said they're just a bit more time consuming, but if you're not doing this every day, which most people don't, I'm again just weird then I think it's a really good product. So I'm going to show you guys now how I go in and do it with my pen. But I do want to say one thing. On my old tutorial, I kind of did... I still have the same technique. I feel like I just have gotten better at it, if that makes sense. I still like to put it right on the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on the outskirts of my face. But I do focus a bit more on my nose, just right here rather than doing evenly spaced dots everywhere because that's just not what they look like in real life. If you look at anyone with freckles that they get from the sun or that they have realistically, they're not evenly spaced, they're not all the same size, and they're not all the same color, so it just makes the most sense to do how they are naturally. So I look at my little brother, for example. He always gets the cutest little wash of freckles on his nose, and I basically just tried to copy what his looked like, and it turned out really cute, and I've been doing it that way ever since. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side with my NYX pen, and it's really easy. Now these do create kind of more dots, as you can see, where this side is more splotches, and you can't really use the stamp method with the pen, so each product kind of has their own disadvantages and their own perks. So now that I have <laughs> applied all these freckles, I am going to go in and set them just like I did in my last video with some bronzer. It just kind of helps overall to give it that sun-kissed look. So I'm just using my Bare Minerals one and I'm just going to dust it over any of the places that I put those freckles. And I'm going to go in a little bit more on the other side with my freck just to even it out for the sake of my thumbnail, um, and then I'll be right back. So here is my face with the finished look. I think it looks super cute. I use it every day. Um, so if you guys found this tutorial helpful, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, oh yeah, don't forget you can use um, the 10% off on the product down below if you want to get it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.